morning, YouTubers. Um, I am back to actually share a little project that I've been working on. I know I've been doing a lot of haul videos and swap videos and stuff like that, so I wanted to actually prove to you all that I have been working on something, and though it's not much, because honestly, this is the, other than my swap stuff, this is the only thing that I have worked on in a while. So, um, before I start, I had a little bit of inspiration for this, and some of you will um, recognize the name. Um, Juliana over at I Love Vintage Scrap um, has been a huge in inspiration for me moving into this kind of shabby chic phase of my uh, crafting. And when I went to Hobby Lobby last week, they had all of their unfinished wood items on sale for 40% off. And I saw this little birdhouse slash gazebo, not sure which one it is, and thought that looks just perfect for a shabby chic project, which I'd been wanting to work on. So that's where I took the inspiration from this. So I just wanted to give credit where credit was due and make sure that you guys check out um, Miss Juliana. Um, her YouTube channel is I Love Vintage Scrap. Um, I'll put the information down at the bottom. So if you're not a subscriber, you can go check her out because she does some really great work. But anyway, on to my project share. Um, this is what I created. I'm not sure if you can get all of that into one frame or not. But it was just a standard wood colored birdhouse. And I painted it a pink color and then went over it with some crackle medium. And for any of you guys that are looking for a good crackle medium and you haven't been able to find one that really works... This is the only crackle medium that I have found that works the way I want it to. And this is by Folk Art. Um, I got this bottle actually at Walmart, I think. Um, Cynthia Luhu had recommended this. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try because I bought four or five different brands and none of them crackled right. And this one works perfect. Um, all I did was paint it with a base coat of pink acrylic paint. I left it for... I don't know, an hour or so, let it dry really well, um, went over it with a crackle medium, let it dry, and then I let it dry overnight just because I wasn't sure. It still kind of felt a little tacky. And then the next day, I went over it with an um, overcoat of cream and white. And if you can see that, actually the bottom may be the best. Do you see the crackles in that? This is actually what I wanted it to do, and that crackle medium works perfectly. There you go. You can see the crackles there. But that's all I did to get started. And then I just took one corner at a time and thought um, I had this vision in my head for something very shabby, chic, and wanted it to be um, very girly. So I used a lot of pinks and purples and lavenders and cream. But I took this pink tool um, right here that was actually part of my um, bridal shower uh, veil and cut it up and wrapped it all around the four columns, intertwined it through the bottom of the lattice work, took some flat back pearls, and I got these in a rack, or sorry, not a rack, I have never had a rack. Um, I got these in a swap, and they came from um, one of my girls over at the Secret Squirrel Sisterhood Society, and I would probably be willing to bet she got those at Carla's Little Itsy Shop, um, Carla S001 on Etsy um, has a great shop for flatback pearls and I really need to get some of my own because I love flatback pearls and all I have is what's been gifted to me and I've used them all up so another little plug there for a sister um, <laughs> anyway I ran those around the bottom and then I just took my collection of wild orchid crafts and I am roses and just started kind of putting them around the gazebo um, this is one of the I Am Roses um, gardenias. This was the lavender and cream color. I used some seam binding and just tied little bows around the four pillars. The roses, the smallest sizes that you see here, these came from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then the larger roses um, came from I Am Roses. So there is a combination there. I can't really tell you which ones came from where just because I love them both equally and I buy from both companies. But... Um, this is one of the Tim Holtz um, adage tickets, and I just grunged it up, scrunched it, went over it with some really pale lavender ink to give it a to make it fade in and not stand out so much. These little fern leaves in the back, I do know I got those at I Am Roses. They were one of the first things that I ever got in. These little this little pink butterfly you see up here was also in a swap 
from one of my lovely sisters. Um, and there's another little butterfly on this side down here in the corner. So, but that's really all I did to the base. This little bird also came from Carla's Etsy store. So she has a couple of different sizes of those. If you like that, you can get that over on her Etsy. Um, but that's really all I did to the, to the bottom part of my little gazebo. And then up here on the top, um, this little flower trim, again, Carla has this on her Etsy. Um, I used it all around the top. Um, just to give it a little bit of um, texture and dimension and then I just kind of went around the top of it with the flowers. And this little trick here for these little things that look like vines, these are actually the flower stems on your I Am Roses and Wild Orchid Craft flowers and all I do is just take a, this is a really skinny um, bamboo skewer and I take the flower and I wrap the um, stem around it and then pull it off and stretch it, scrunch it, whatever I want to do to make it the size that I want it and then we don't have to cut those off. So I got that little tip from um, Carlene over at um, Pink, Pink Scrapper 99 I believe and then that's how I got those in there. But there's some seam binding underneath there tied around the center and drug out from underneath the flowers so and then the leaves are tucked in there. That's really about all I did. So Again, I got the inspiration for this from Juliana. Um, I might have to make her one and send it off to her as a thank you gift. This was so much fun to make. Um, I had a really good time with this. And I have another little um, wood piece that I picked up. And if you hold on, I'll show you what that is before I get started on it. They had um, this little wooden, I don't want to say dresser, but... It's just a little, it's got six drawers, it's wooden, um, they come out, um, and it's, I intend to alter it and then use it for some of the vintage buttons and trinkets and stuff that people are sending me. And originally this was $7.99, but like I said, if you watch um, Hobby Lobby, if you have one in your area, they'll put them on sale every now and then for 40% off their unfinished wood products. But, so that was um, my project for the weekend that I worked on. There's an overview of it and I hope you like it and I'll put all of the links to the people that I mentioned in the um, comment section below and hopefully you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys later. Bye!